Hello friends, it's Cheyenne and today I am back with what I think is a pretty exciting video. Um, today I am going to attempt to recreate Starbucks's iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a lot of times to get that correct. It is quite the mouthful. But anyway, I am going to attempt to recreate that drink today and I am so excited. My very first job was actually at a Starbucks kiosk in my local grocery store. So since I was about 16 years old, I have love Starbucks. I mean, you know, like a lot of people. And when I heard that they were coming out with this drink, I just knew I had to try it. So I got my hands on it yesterday and overall it was pretty good. My only issue with the drink itself is that it didn't taste that much like brown sugar in my opinion. I even swirled it together with a spoon and made sure it was all like well incorporated and everything. But the predominant flavor that I was getting was cinnamon, which is fine, but I am going to attempt to improve on that on my version. Um, also the drink was $5.95, which is uh, a bit too pricey for me to try and get consistently. So I figured why not try and make it at home. This should be a relatively simple drink to put together. Uh, the only prep that I really need to do is the brown sugar simple syrup. And even that should be relatively easy to do. So I will get started on that in just a second. But first, let me show you all of the equipment and ingredients that you'll need. When I tell you that this drink should be relatively simple to make, I am not kidding. These are all of the ingredients. So for the simple syrup, I've got one cup of water and then one cup of dark brown sugar. Um, I'm using dark brown sugar just because I kind of want a richer, more intense molasses flavor, but you can probably use light brown sugar depending on your preference. Um, I've got some espresso so I can pull some shots, um, some ground cinnamon, and then some oat milk. I just want to preface things by saying I know Starbucks uses oatly oat milk. Uh, they didn't have any of that at the grocery store, so we're using Califia Farms. And then for the espresso, they use their blonde espresso. But again, the grocery store didn't have any blonde espresso, so I'm just using their classic espresso roast. And we'll see how it turns out. I'm pretty excited. All right, so to make the simple syrup, I've got this small saucepan going on medium heat. I'm just going to add my brown sugar as well as my water. And I'm just going to mix this up until it dissolves and kind of let it come together. And then, yeah. All right, the sugar is pretty well dissolved, so I am going to go ahead and take this off the heat and let it cool. All right, friends, I am back. The syrup is cooled and I went ahead and put it in this cute little jar. So now I am just about ready to start assembling everything. But first, I do need to go ahead and pull some espresso shots. I am going to do about the equivalent of three shots worth of espresso just because I am using a grande cup, which is about 16 fluid ounces. So I am going to go ahead and get that started. But before we do that, I just wanted to talk briefly about some alternatives for this drink, just because I know not everyone has an espresso machine. Um, quite frankly, the espresso machine that I'm using like kind of hardly qualifies as an espresso machine, but you know, we work with what we have. So one option that you can do is use instant espresso. So this is from the brand uh, Cafe Bustello. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, this is from the brand Cafe Bustello and they make instant espresso packs and you can just uh, mix this in with some hot water. Obviously the quality isn't going to be the exact same. Um, Starbucks uses actual espresso machines. So, you know, it's kind of up to you if that's the route you want to go. Otherwise you can go ahead and ditch the espresso altogether and do like an iced coffee or a cold brew. I think that these flavors will work really nicely in a cold brew, especially because it's a bit stronger than just like a regular iced coffee. So yeah, I just wanted to throw those alternatives out there. If you don't have access to an espresso machine, definitely still give this recipe a try. All right, so here's pretty much all of my equipment. I am going to be using this little cocktail shaker. Um, you don't have to use one of these. Basically, just use any container that you can seal all the way. That's fine. So let's go ahead and get started with the assembly. So because I do want a bit of a stronger brown sugar flavor, I'm going to go ahead and do four tablespoons of this brown sugar syrup. Um, typically, I think for a grande, they would do about two tablespoons or about one ounce, but I want it a little stronger, so we'll do four. Next, I am going to go ahead and just add in my espresso, as well as about two cups of ice. Now I'm just going to go ahead and seal this and shake it. All right, that seems pretty good to me. Oh, and you know what? I forgot the cinnamon, so let me go ahead and throw that in real quick. We'll just shake it again. Oops, I'm making a mess. Open 
open this up, maybe. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this into my cup. Perfect. And then finally, I'm just going to top it off with my oat milk. There it is. It's looking very pretty. Obviously, I haven't mixed it up yet, but I think that looks amazing. All right, so here is the finished drink. I think it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, I am going to go ahead and mix this up. And let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That is really good. Um, the brown sugar flavor is definitely more prominent in this one. Again, I did use extra syrup, so there's that. And then the cinnamon isn't as overpowering as it was in the other drinks, so I really like this. The only thing I'll say is that I do prefer the Oatly Oat Milk over the Califia Farms one. This one, I'm not crazy about the flavor, but the drink itself still tastes really good. So in the future when I make this, I'll definitely try and get my hands on the Oatly Oat Milk. So yeah, overall, I definitely recommend giving this a try at home. Obviously, you can save a lot of money if you make it yourself at home. Plus, you can customize it any way you want, just like I did with the syrup and the cinnamon and everything. So yeah, definitely give it a try and let me know if you do. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!